we're going to continue the conversation of innovation and specifically around innovation and knowledge flows between companies, teams, organizations, and even countries. And I am only delighted to invite to the stage to present our next panel, colleague and friend, Marisol Mendes, who is our own Chief Open Innovation Officer here at South Summit. Marisol, the floor is yours. All yours. Hello. Well, this is an exciting day at exciting times. We are super happy to, be, to have this panel today. And let me welcome my fellow panelists for this amazing conversation. So please welcome David Cierco, who is General Director of Red.es. Red <laughs> welcome. Clara Pombo, Corporate Director of Clark Modet and founder of MIT Enterprise Forum in Spain and Angel Investor. Welcome, welcome. Jose Bayon, CEO at ENISA. Welcome on stage, Jose. And Alvaro Bourcaif, a partner for Cuatro Casas in IP, IT, technology, and transactions. Welcome, Alvaro. You, as you can see, this, we are all here, and this is a perfect mix of physical and online. And today we are taking an approach on a topic that we, I'm passionate about. By the way, my name is Marisol Menendez. I'm Chief Open Innovation Officer at South Summit. And for me, this is like the best. We are going to talk about connections, building bridges with a diverse group. Each of you do a completely different thing, but all of you are working towards the same goal, building bridges in the ecosystem. This is amazing, no? Let's mix it up, guys. So let me begin, please, with, with David. David, let's begin with you. Um, SMEs and individual workers are key elements of the economy. Everybody knows that. So for speed and, and transformation of the country, we rely on them a lot. How can we help them? How can we support and create a network for digital transformation? Well, thank you very much, Marisol. The first thing I would like to say, I'm very, very pleased to be here. Congratulations to Maria, to the South Summit for the organization of this event. I think it's very important for Spain and for Madrid, so congratulations. The second thing I would like to say is uh, my thoughts are with people who are suffering right now, okay? Uh, we have people who are suffering a personal viewpoint, but as well business people, okay? And uh, they're making a very big effort, okay, to, to be in business. And from the public administration, the Spanish public administration, what we'd like to do is to help them in their effort, okay? I think we are facing right now most of the, one of the biggest challenges ever, okay, in Spain, in Europe, in the world, probably in the, in the last 70, 80 years, okay? We have the crisis uh, COVID-19, okay? In another way, we are facing the digital transformation and the green transformation, okay? There are big, big challenges, and we have to work all together, okay? If we want to help a business, big business, small business, and self-employed people, the first thing we like to do is to be with them, okay? So from red.es, okay, which is a, a public company, it belongs to the Minister of Economy, okay? What we're doing is to put in place uh, uh, plans and programs to help them now in the short term. The first thing we did is to put in place a platform, okay, which is called uh, acelera.gov.es, uh, which is a platform uh, uh, where we have 450 collaborators and more than 80,000 users. Okay? Uh, SMEs and self-employed people can find technology and they can find as well solutions to implement digital transformation in the short term, okay? Because people need it to keep their business running in the short term in digital. That's one thing we're doing. And because I don't have too much time, I would like to end up saying that we have put in place another program, which is called as well uh, Accelerate program, as means, and it's 250 million euros, okay? 250 million euros to help SMEs, okay? To uh, transform themselves in the medium term. So because I don't have too much time, I would like to say only that we are going to build up a national network with more than 100 offices all over Spain where uh, SMEs can go there and we can them to transform this, uh, themselves, okay? And I think in the short term I have to speak is enough. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, David. Of course, digital transformation, support, connectedness, and SMEs is key. And Jose, at NISA, 
you also have a wide perspective in supporting SMEs to compete and develop, but in the global landscape, which is the perfect complement for this. Your entity is one of the most active bridge builders that I know of, promoting internationalization of Spanish companies through innovation. Tell us more about that, please. Okay. Thank you very much for inviting Anissa to this Hub Summit. I'm very happy to be here. Thank you, Marisol, Maria, all the, all the team, and congratulations for the, for the organization this year. We are, we are willing to, to meet us all together and work all together next, next year again. Well, uh, this is clear that the, the Spanish SMEs, that the Spanish uh, startups are even more uh, international and global. And in this way, ENISA, we, we think ENISA is a very useful instrument, public instrument, in order to support the innovation. It is well known that the uh, Spanish SMEs are, are small, and, and this, is, uh, this is difficult in order to, to uh, invest in innovation. Because of this, we try to, to support this innovation. Uh, ENISA acts as a key player in these entrepreneurship ecosystems, promoting the creation as a, strof, as a strong, stronger productive model and sustainability, sustainable sorry, economy. So we, we loan, we have a lot, of, uh, a lot of credits, a lot of loans every year. This year we have 100 million approved by the, by the Spanish government and we are receiving more uh, application than the last year. So we are perhaps more necessary in this moment. The public sector is in this moment very necessary. As David has told before, I think it's very important to, to remember this also here in this, uh, in this way. Thank you very much, Jose. Clara, not only pub public organizations work on connections, no? So, um, how do you know firsthand that technical transfer uh, is critical for innovation? So, how do you see it in your own perspective? Thank you. Uh, well, um, I want to make a, a special point on the, good, the things that we do well in Spain. We are ranked the 10th in terms of innovation, in terms of um, science. There's great science at universities. On the one hand, we're also an entrepreneurial hub. Everybody wants to move to Madrid, places like the South Summit and Barcelona. However, companies, corporations, and the, te the technology doesn't transfer to, into the market. We are there on an innovation index of 30 in the world. What is going on? What happens? And how can we help? Uh, there are a number of good initiatives uh, happening already in collaboration between universities, spin-offs, technology centers and venture capital firms who are helping these spin-offs to reach also the market and collaborate more with open innovation programs at corporations. Corporations in Spain at the moment only spend 5.5% of all their R&D budget in working with university. This needs to be increased and on the other hand, the university needs to become more entrepreneurial and uh, there needs to, to be more connection between the two. Three points. One, Training, universities and C-level at the organizations and universities and technology offices need to inspire and train the role of IP and the role of technology transfer. Secondly, collaboration, mixed teams, public and private teams between universities and corporations. And thirdly, investment. You need to have more tech transfer funds and work with, with great uh, institutions like Redis and ENISA to fund these spin-offs and help them survive the valley of death and reach the bigger corporations so that they can grow and become international um, unicorns. Thank you. Of course. So good elements in Spain and great connections that we can nurture. And they say that good fences make for good neighbors, but I also say that good bridges create also good neighborhoods. What can we tell about connections from your own uh, peculiar, uh, I think it's interesting perspective from Cuatre Casas perspective. Let us talk a little bit about these connections, please, Alvaro. Sure, thank you. Thank you, Marisol, and thank you, South Summit, for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Um, I do tech transactions for a living, and I do it 24-7, just like every other attorney. That's our schedule. <laughs> uh, so I, there, I've seen a lot of things change in this uh, last year. Uh, but if I had to pick two trends, uh, one for companies, another one for universities. I'd probably choose those two. First, um, technology has escalated 
to sea level decisions. So our, uh, the, the people I talk to are the CEO, CTO, CLO, uh, and they have that on the top of their list because businesses are changing and businesses are becoming more, more digital. Uh, and one thing I learned is that they base their decisions on three things. Is it technologically possible? Is it legally allowed? And is it ethically desirable? Uh, and I'll get into that. So is it technically possible? That's the entrance level. Yes, just the very basic. Uh, so my first advice here would be do not concentrate strictly on the technology in itself. If you don't do it now, somebody else will, and it will in, in the short term and even half the cost. Uh, you need it, but it's not enough. Second, is it legally possible, legally allowed? Um, my advice here would be get involved a lawyer in the first stages of the development because going back afterwards, it's very complicated. And because technology is evolving so fast, uh, legal systems are putting fences to protect people from that uh, development. So get a lawyer. Three, is it ethically desirable? And this shocks a little bit when I t talk about it, but you know, a CEO is so committed to social corporate responsibility that this is on their list as well. So it's not only that it must be technically possible, it must be legally allowed, but it must be ethically desirable to have you know, to the value proposition to be really interesting for a company. And on universities, second trend, I, I do agree with everything that Clara just said, and maybe because I'm hopeful about it, uh, I've seen recently universities uh, devoting more resources to tech transaction. We've been involved uh, in a number of cases where universities uh, really are transferring the basic scientific research that they do, which is uh, you know, paramount uh, at, in Spain, 10th in the world, that's astonishing, uh, to transfer that into civil society through tech transfer. And I, no, my advice here would be have a look at the university because things may change uh, soon. Yes, of course. So we are we have good strong bridges, by the way, also ethical, that transfer the right kind of knowledge between the ecosystems with the correct support locally and globally, building over the perfect talent. And if I might add, maybe as a wrap up, I think um, we have in the overall landscape of the connectedness and the open innovation, which is, by the way, what I like to talk about as well. Um, everyone has their own role. The startups are like the innovation lab of the world. Their job is to explore, experiment, and validate business models. We have corporations with the reach out to the customer, the connection with the regulator, and a good infrastructure. We have universities uh, growing and nurturing the knowledge and creating these connections. We have investors giving gasoline to the system. We have, um, uh, of course, the public organizations helping this grow. And together with activities such as we do in South Summit, we create connections, we create bridges, and we make uh, magic happen. Thank you very much to all of you. Thank you for having uh, this opportunity or coming here to discuss all the possibilities of the connections. And you know, let's keep building bridges. This is what makes the ecosystem grow and innovate, and ultimately, a better world. Thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming today.